Yeah, um, taking them storm chasing was, was, was a dream of mine. You know, it was really amazing to uh, take 15 students out this year and elevate their learning. Um, their learning was, uh, they learn a lot in textbooks and theory here at school, but to take them out and see real storms. And then after forecasting and seeing them, to hear, hear them speak so intelligently, I mean, you could tell they were at the next level based upon actually seeing, observing, and forecasting for real storms. So we have a tornado on the ground. Everything we learned in the classroom became real. We were looking for the dry line. We were looking for, you know, where the Cape failures were the highest. We were looking for the front and the, you know, the triple point. Oh yes, I learned a lot from this. I feel like I can forecast so much better just from seeing it happen and the weather briefings that we did. There it goes. Look at that sucker rotating. Well, I was thinking about that on the trip too. Like some of the stuff in the book really does have pertinence to stuff outside, but. You don't know that until you actually do go outside and you apply it. It's so great. Oh, there it goes! Oh, oh, that's a tornado. That's definitely winds on the ground. I mean, you want to be able to forecast accurately so you can make people aware that there may be a threat later that day for large hail, you know, damaging winds, a tornado. So it puts a much more realistic perspective into forecasting. Van three, turn around first, then van one, then van two. Over. Just there might be the edge of the freeze. It was really nerve-wracking and really, really exciting, and just built so much tension because sometimes a flash from having for five, six seconds, you're just sitting there, where to go, where to go, and then a big flash comes and boom, there it is. You know, so it was pretty exciting to see something like that. I feel like I have a lot better understanding of how the atmosphere works. I don't, rather than just reading it and understanding it, I can see it. And for me, that's unusual. Because every year I've read all these things in textbooks. I'm like, oh, this is really interesting. But I don't know what it's like until this trip. There's a team of five students each day dedicated to forecasting the weather for the day, where they wanted to go, what their target city was, when storms would fire. And then in the morning they had to lead a discussion and explain their reasoning behind their forecast to us. And uh, then they observed the storms, chased them, and then at the end of the day they compared their forecast to what they actually observed and that's where the real learning happened. Now the process, it was a really good process of teamwork. So basically, uh, I had five students each day who were responsible for organizing the equipment and setting it up to get ready to launch the balloon. And each person on that five-member team had a task, and they worked well together to get it ready and launched within, let's say, half an hour. And then it took about an hour, hour and a half to collect the data, Then we analyzed it on a, on a thermodynamic diagram on a chart that we use to understand whether, whether or not it was unstable enough for thunderstorms, for example. Well, we found out that the students changed. They improved their learning from before and after going storm chasing. I gave them a quiz uh, the first week of the program before we went chasing. Uh, it was a seven question quiz. And then when we got back from storm chasing, the last few days, I re-gave them the quiz and scored the before and after, and that's how we did the assessment. They did well, they did well. Before we left, the scores were like, uh, like a 70s, and like a C range type. Uh, and then after, when we came back, it was more in the upper B range, and how well they knew how to integrate the information to make a severe thunderstorm forecast.